Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Okay guys, so hopefully you caught our Banner Pump Rule Season 11 Episode 6 recap with Kiki from the Talk of Shame. And if you didn't, then go back and be a part of the replay crew. But we have a lot to talk about. Not only is Lala encouraging Brittany Cartwright to leave Jax Taylor, Jax apparently is super angry and Lala is chucking the hell out of Tom Sandoval. So, I mean, when you got some ish to go over, you got some ish to go over. And that's exactly what it seems like we got to go over. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. Okay, guys, before we get into it, everybody is always asking me about my skincare, and I appreciate the heck out of you. As you guys know, I always say that I use number seven for my skin cream as far as moisturizers and everything, but my favorite tool is this little guy right here with the touch of a button. It's called Blue Me. So it's this little tool that uses microcurrents, and it has a little timer on it, but also different settings. It lifts, rejuvenates, illuminates, and takes all the hydration and puts it back into your face. Thank the Lord, especially when you're traveling. So if you're into it, I'm pinning the link in the comment section. You guys can check it out. Normally it's $150 and you get $70 off. I saw where some people were like, well, I can find that on Amazon for 20 bucks. Do not mess with your skin and don't buy something that you don't know what it is or where it's from that can burn you, scar you, and leave it where it's like irreplaceable, like you can't fix it. But with that, let's get into this. Oh God. Okay. So apparently Lala Kent told Brittany Carwright to leave Jax Taylor. All right. Thank you to Taste of Reality. Lala Kent thinks that Brittany Cartwright should leave Jax. During an episode of Watch What Happens Live, she shared some inside information into Brittany and Jax's troubled marriage. Lala began with, Brittany is one of my dearest friends, so I knew things were not great with her and Jax. Lala told Brittany, I support you, but I always say, leave him. Now, would Brittany leave Jax to create drama for their new show? Andy Cohen asked Lala if there's truth to the rumor that Brittany and Jax's marital drama is a ploy to gain interest in their spinoff show, The Valley. She said they don't need any help with promo. They're all a hot mess. The cast doesn't need separations. Now, Bravo TV fans did react with multiple things. One person said, if Brittany would leave Jax, she and Cruz would thrive. Second, if they didn't have a kid, I could see it, but this is fake for a show with their kid. That would be beyond messed up, if it is. Number three, still don't buy their separation as legit. It's a total PR stunt. And lastly, I like their cute little family, and I hope they can work things out. I mean... So, I guess my takeaway from this is that Lala's pretty much saying they don't need to fake a split in order to promote the show. And if you guys didn't watch our recap with Kiki, Kiki didn't obviously share who her sources were, but she did say that she has sources and those sources explained to her that um, this is something that's very real that's going on behind the scenes and that there is trouble in paradise. And none of this is for a PR stunt. And I've been asked multiple times and I fully believed it was a PR stunt. I fully believe that this is something where, especially after Jax went on to his um, his When Reality Hits podcast, and he was alluding to the fact that Mauricio and Kyle saw what Scandaball did for ratings, so he feels like they were faking their own split in order to drive ratings for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and also for buying Beverly Hills. So then I'm like, wait a minute, if you saw that, and you've already spoke on that. It just seems fishy, right? You guys can totally correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm still, even though Kiki said, and I love me some Kiki, I'm still wondering in the back of my mind, I'm like, this is very interesting timing that we're at episode six. Episode eight is going to be the segue episode from Vanderpump Rules into the Valley. That is literally right around the corner. And both of you guys are randomly being caught up with by TMZ. You're kind of giggling and you're like, how did you find me coming out of the 
Jim or, oh, <laughs> yeah, Jax, you know Jax. He's always going to be Jax. Uh, like, what? All right, moving on. Now, thank you again to Taste of Reality. Jax Taylor angry about the backlash over how he is handling his marital issues with Brittany Cartwright. They said, angry Jax Taylor referred to Vanderpump Rules fans as clowns after they dragged him for trash on social media for how he's handled his marital issues with Brittany Cartwright. Now, he angrily responded to Bravo fans who shared their thoughts on his marital situation. He said, everyone's a fucking marriage counselor now with a clown emoji. Okay. Now, Bravo TV fans react to an angry Jax calling people clowns. There's a few. Here we go. No, you just let your dad down. Everything you said you wouldn't do. Clown. Oh, God. Number two. After rewatching all episodes, that man just makes me cringe. He can't breathe unless he is lying. He spreads rumors about his own wife. This knuckle dragged has zero redeeming qualities. Next one. Doesn't he comment on everyone's relationship? Next one. Jax being this angry and calling people clowns is such projection. The last four. That's a fake message, too. I think he wants us to think he's upset. So dramatic. Well, then don't go to TMZ talking about it. Who'd he cheat with this time? And lastly, I have a theory that Jax pressured her to get on Ozempic. Lots of body shaming rumors going around. Now, in case you missed it, before Jax angrily referred to Bravo fans as clowns, it was rumored that he and Brittany had been living apart. Brittany admitted that she and Jax were having marital problems and she moved out for her mental health. And later that day, Jax was randomly found by a TMZ paparazzi who he denied that there was any issue with Brittany. Coincidentally, TMZ caught up with her the next day, and Brittany hopes to have a good co-parenting relationship in the future. It's Jax, so he's not really trying to make things much better right now, is what she said. And when asked about marriage counseling, Brittany said, I've asked him for a while to do certain things, and nothing has come from that. So it doesn't seem like we're getting to a better place. Unless it is a PR stunt. Now, speaking of clowns, we also have this situation. This one was a wild one. Lala was accusing Sandoval of grooming Raquel. I don't know if you guys saw this, but Lala now realizes that Raquel was under Sandoval's spell, noting how she said at the season 10 reunion that she would have nobody if she didn't fall in line with Sandoval. And Lala told him, you isolate, you groom, you lie. I do not want to know you. You're scary. Now, obviously, Sandoval got defensive and ripped into Lala for old rumors that she started dating her now ex-fiance, Randall Emmett, while he was still married to his ex-wife, Amber Childers, in 2017. I did lie about a seven-month relationship. Lala lied for a few years of a six-year relationship, is what he told the Bravo cameras. We both lied. We're both liars. I think in this instance, we should both just call this a wash. But Lala was also shocked and insulted that Sandoval would use her past against her while refusing to apologize, and she told him that he was insane and terrifying. It's all you have on me. You will not allow me to evolve, but yet this happened four months ago, and I'm allowing you to evolve. However, after Sheena and Brock both intervened, calming down the tension, um, he did express regret, and he said, I don't think I understood you properly. That's what I told Kiki, too. I was like, isn't that so funny how all of a sudden he didn't understand I'm sorry. I don't want to be this way around you. I really appreciate you. And it means a lot to me. It changed a lot of what I think about you. She doesn't care. It is a lot. And I'm still processing even these days. I'm processing everything. And it's a lot for everybody. That is the most true statement. Now, guys, I want to hear what you think. So pop off in the comments, smash that like button, show some love. And if you didn't already check out Blooming, then go check out in the pinned link in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you next time.